Karan Johar may have bowed to pressure, but ex-army men say forced donations are unacceptable. The controversy over Karan Johar's Edil Head Mushkil took a new turn when the MNS demanded 5 crore rupees as a penance from filmmakers casting Pakistani artists in their films. The money, according to the MNS, should be contributed as a donation to the Army Welfare Fund. However, the Army is not pleased with this demand of the MNS. They say the Army is a political and secular and its name should not be used to gather political brownie points. We are a Spartan Army and we don't live on charity. Uh, it's unfortunate that uh, it is, uh, despite whatever the intention is, that uh, the army's sacrifice is being politicized. Army's sacrifices cannot be weighed in money. You cannot uh, start doling out money uh, in the form of charity to the army for its sacrifices. The, pri the price of a sacrifice is, it just cannot be fathomed. I would like to ask these people, the producers or whatever it is, have they ever, ever in their line of thought of income, ever kept aside some money on their own whenever Kargil was there, except for one or two actors who on their own give money. Uh, they just are prepared to give free shows, that's about all, and that, they don't want to give anything from their regular income. It's a very sad thing. The sacrifice of my men cannot be weighed in terms of charity to any marks. Uh, the armed forces should not be drawn into something which is uh, very obviously a political, um, uh, in a way, fight that is going on. Uh, if there is an issue uh, of a film, of something so small as a film to be released, then the government orders must prevail. Whatever the government decides, government of the day decides, must prevail. Drawing the armed forces through, uh, through forcing people to uh, donate to their welfare fund as, as a yardstick for the release of a film is absolutely incorrect. And if I may say, hitting below the belt.